welcome members of the press, the CE leaders that are here, consumer electronics leaders that are in the room with us today, the industry executives that are here today with us, the fellow reviewers, uh, audio video enthusiasts alike that are all here with us today and watching online across the world. Uh, this is our ninth annual flat panel shootout. Woo. Nine years in a row doing this. Thanks very much. And uh, it's really amazing every year to see the advancement of the technology of these panels. Uh, every year I get more excited when I go to CES to meet with everybody. I get to go to the back room and talk with the engineers and, and talk my geeky language with them. It's really a lot of fun and it's great to really see the advancement of technology. Again, you know, each year we kind of leapfrog. It's another like bullfrog on steroids this year. The panels just look beautiful. Um, so in spite of the fact that we are all so different walks of life here, we have that same common interest of storytelling, movies, audio quality, <laughs> video quality. We all share that passion together. Uh, you know, uh, we don't, <coughs> around here, we, uh, that was on purpose. We, uh, we're dedicated. We're very seriously dedicated. We're a very small company that does very, very big things. We're passionate about our hobby. We want to get the manufacturers to build us better products. We're the, cons we're the advocate for the high-end consumers. We, uh, I, I work with a two hats sort of. I kind of uh, wear a hat of an, of an enthusiast and a guy who does evaluations and a purist. And I work with the hat of a businessman who buys from the vendors. And uh, I remember one day, and maybe everybody told me this is not a funny joke, but one day I, this guy's trying to sell me and sell me and sell me. He brings his manager down. And I said, look, guys, you know, you just don't have a flat gamma. And uh, <laughs> I just don't want to sell a product without a flat gamma, you know? So they're scratching their head to go away. They come back a week later, and they said, look, we don't have gamma, but we got game. <laughs> and they offered me 2%. <laughs> okay. So uh, we got the premium manufacturers here with the flagship products up on this wall. We got the top guys throughout the world. We search around the globe to find the best video guys to evaluate these panels for us, calibrate them. These guys came here from Scotland, the UK European guy, uh, Davis Kennedy. Something's better. Yeah. Yeah. We got Dwayne Davis here with us tonight. Came from South Carolina, very well known and well respected uh, gentleman in our business. We got Kevin Miller a lifetime uh, veteran of this industry, right on the front lines everywhere. Uh, Kevin teaches the highest level of ISF. He's a teacher and instructor of level two. Uh, doesn't get any higher than that. So he's not just certified level two, but he's actually the guy that would teach you and give you the certification. We don't advertise this event, but the popularity has been exponentially growing. Uh, it's been growing because it's pure. We um, moved in here, we had to bring new circuits in from the street because we didn't like the way the power was coming into the building. And then of course we had to put all kinds of stabilization and, regul and regulate the power. We um, put a new service panel in, we ran 20 amp circuits, everything's on a dedicated 20 amp circuit. Everything is run through uh, Mike's 8x8 matrix switch. Thank you so much for developing that product. Everything is a key digital black bowl cable. Every cable is the same length. Every cable has been thoroughly retested, even though he's tested it well. So every television is on an equal playing field. They plug into the same 20 amp circuit. They're going through the same source equipment. There's nothing in between. There's no audio receiver in between. It's the Blu-ray player and the generator right through a switch to the TVs. Uh, we tried to create a scientific lab over here so that we can make sure that what we're showing you and what we're evaluating is as pure as it could be. Uh, let's see. With one exception this year, we have never accepted samples from manufacturers. We take them randomly out of our inventory. But we wanted to have a ZT60. And we struck a deal with Panasonic for the first time in my nine years. And the only panel on the wall that came from a manufacturer that didn't come out of my inventory just randomly, I, I go down to my 
basement warehouse, I go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That's how I pick it, and mo gets it sometimes, and sometimes it's eeny, meeny. And this year, we took the sample from them. It looks to me to be genuinely a, it is a production unit. It was flown here from uh, the assembly plant. Uh, I met the plane on the Terramot, Termac, and I had security and FBI chasing me all over the place. <laughs> I had to get that panel right away. It came in eight days ago. I, uh, we immediately put break-in slides and uh, started breaking it in. They have about 160 or so hours on them. Um, I couldn't wait. They told me they were going to bring it Monday, three days later, and I just couldn't wait. So we wanted to get it because we were anxious. We wanted to get it because we wanted to put more time on it. We've had Panasonic assure us at the highest level that this is randomly selected. But you're going to see the numbers. You're going to see the contrast ratio. You're going to see the peak luminance. You're going to see the color accuracy. You're going to see every single number. When the production units uh, come out at other retailers, you can compare those numbers. And I feel very confident that this will be an average production unit. I also want to tell you that this year, that all the companies have stepped up the game, not only in the development of the products, but in the production and manufacturing and quality control. All the units that we test are very, very much like each other. So there's very little uh, variation from sample to sample. So a lot of advancement there. Uh, let's see. I told you that we lobby. We're the consumer advocates. So uh, we, we help make the products better. We find errors in the product. We communicate it to the right channels at the right companies. And I must tell you, I am so impressed. Uh, may I applaud Samsung in particular for coming here with their top engineering team. Uh, listening to our concerns and immediately coming up with fixes that did no worse on anything else. They didn't have any bugs in them and they fixed everything we asked for. So I love companies that have a culture that will listen to us and improve the product products. Panasonic is no different in that way. We just haven't had a chance to have their product long enough. We now have it and we'll be disclosing and sharing that information. And I feel very confident like they always have been. They'll be very attentive to uh, fixing these minor little things because we, we complain about very, very little things here. So with all the words I have and all the things I can say, it's really, really impossible for me to find words to express my gratitude for the people that have put this event together. Kevin Miller, Dwayne Davis, David McKenzie, uh, my wife Wendy, my daughter Leanne, my son Jeff, my daughter Kate, Benny who's helped us out, Lissandro Maldonado, an unbelievable asset of mine, Andrew, thank you so very much. Uh, Key Digital has been unbelievable uh, in making this work for us. We couldn't have put the event on without these people. Uh, Total Control has been fantastic as well. It's really a, you know, it's my dream and it's my vision and it's these guys that do it. I do nothing. I tell them my, what my dream is and they fulfill my dreams. So it's amazing to me that we can accomplish what we've done today and really the, uh, the applause goes to these guys. Unbelievable team. It sounds so, so rosy. He actually <laughs> walked the doors, had a whip out and said, you do these until you're done. We, <laughs> we come in. He did bring us food. <laughs> food. And I give him a little pot. <laughs> and that's it. Wait a minute. That was wine. <laughs> and, and, I, and I must tell you, we, we come here early in the morning and we don't leave till after midnight. And we do that for weeks in advance. These guys do it for a week. They're here evaluating the panels, uh, testing the panels, calibrating the panels, working together as a team to teach each other tricks they've learned. Everybody has looked at every single panel. These panels are calibrated to the gills. You cannot get a better calibration. We're going to show you how they look when they come out of the box in daytime, how they come out of the box in their best mode at nighttime. We're going to show you how they come out of the box, how they look calibrated, post calibrated, in high ambient light and with no. This is our agenda and we're going to try to stick to it rather quickly today. Um, the panels themselves, this is not in for voting, it's here for comparison of black level performance. It's a, a KRP 500M, it's the last uh, generation of the Kurus. Uh, this over here is the ZT60. It's the flagship unit from Panasonic this year. Uh, the unit behind me here is an F8500. It's Samsung's latest high-end plasma. 
To my left is a Panasonic VT50. One step down from the ZT, but a very similar panel, and we wanted to show them to see what the differences are. VT60, thanks yeah, for the correction. Said 50, yeah. I said 50, yeah. so sorry. Uh, over here we have Sony's brand new flagship XBR. This is a 65 inch as well, and that's a X900A, which is a 4K. They don't use UHD like everybody else, they say 4K. Uh, to its left on the bottom is Samsung's F8000, and directly above it is Panasonic's uh, WT60. Those are LED over here and plasma from their phone. I ask you one more thing before I turn this over to the manufacturers to do a brief presentation. I don't care if you like a company or don't like a company. I don't care if you've had trouble in the past with XYZ company. I don't care if you own a product and you're loyal to it. I only care about you guys helping us pick the best TVs here. So leave all the prejudice behind. Look at the panels purely for what they're doing and how they're performing. Whatever your personal agenda is, it doesn't belong here. This is about helping us select and award the new king of HDTV. Thanks again very much. So I think... Uh, <laughs>